This is Ibrahim. I call him Ibo. He's a... Well, he's a lot of things, and it's hard to describe him in a couple of words. So I suggest you get to know him a bit as this video unfolds. We go way back. We studied at the same university, and I noticed back then this entrepreneurial spirit in him. Just like me, he also started a bunch of projects ever since he was a student, but I never got to actually work with him on any of them. Our paths just didn't intersect at the time, but I'm super glad that now, they actually did. Okay, Ibo, I gotta admit, I did not expect you to be this prepared. I knew you're an organized guy, <laughs> but check this out, guys. This, here, this, over here this is what i found when i came here i didn't do anything yet the only thing i did was to set up my camera on the prompter right here because we're about to record soon we're actually let me show you we're waiting for the light i'm not sure if you can tell we're waiting for the light to really go down the sun is setting in about maybe half an hour or so yeah so we're waiting to be totally dark outside so that can we can really control the light in this room. So the main purpose of this video is to show you that when you pay attention to details, your videos can differentiate from the average. Let's look at some basic things we achieved here when we talk light and sound. Okay, so about half an hour later, it's dark outside. We pretty much set up. So when I say set up, I mean, this is it, we've uh, recorded a sample test, we looked on the computer, we are super satisfied with sound and light. And this is what I wanna talk to you guys, I wanna show you why did we do it this way. L let me show you. Okay, so what I wanna do first is turn everything off and show you how it adds up to the final look. So, as you can see right now, my lights are totally off. All we have is in the background, what Ibo already has set up a couple of RGB lights with a specific mood we wanted to create. And these lights, the only purpose of these lights, well, in, in, <laughs> in my view, <laughs> as the video guy, are to separate the subject, to separate Ibo from the background. I think he did a pretty, pretty good job. Let me show you how my lights add up to what Ibo already has set up. So first, we're gonna line up this falcon eye over here which i've already only put on 20 percent with a value of 5600 kelvin and you can see right now what difference it makes on ibo's face what i forgot to mention here is that if you do anything similar you might want to match your kelvin value of the light to your camera white balance so in my case 5600 and one more thing I forgot to mention about achieving that look is that I've put the light slightly above him at a more or less 45 degree angle. But what I want to do now is have slightly a bit of a, a bit of a rim light on the right side of Ibo's face and shoulder. And that is why I have this little aperture light over here that creates exactly what I wanted to create. I really, really like this look. You can see a before and after. This is great. And, in terms of sound, we're not doing anything too complicated, but we do have a Love microphone. I have a Rode Link over here set up. He has some basic sound panels here, acoustic panels. They're, you know, the traditional foam, but this adds a lot to the, to the control that we, we get with the sound. And, okay, I think I have to take over a bit because that Alex was all over the place with the explanation, so let this Alex clarify this. The advantage in terms of sound was that the room was small and packed with furniture, but what I was trying to explain was that besides the acoustic panels Ibo had set up behind him, I also advised him to get a carpet to put under the chair he would be sitting on. These kind of things help in not letting the sound waves bounce too much off the walls. It didn't make a huge difference, but it helped quite a bit. Check this out. A pineapple. I I've never seen one growing like this. Have you? So wh why are we here today? Not, not why, because it's obvious why we're recording some sort of interview, something, something. But the public doesn't know what this is about. So maybe just a, a small, small background, if you may. Well, we are recording some video content for my new quantum healing app, which takes users through a 
initiation process of conscious expansion and connecting through time and space with the heart of every single user on the planet, creating an energy, energetic planetary network uh, with love from the, that is anchored, anchored in the heart of every single user. So there is a lot of video uh, information um, f of this initiation process that explains the physical, the mental and the spiritual, la spiritual layers of the being as well as other uh, cool stuff. So that's why I really want this experience for the users to be like have a professional feeling with both the sound and audio as I know that this really keeps the user's attention going um, and they can tell that how much have been put it into it and that's what I really wanted to do this so I'm really appreciate that Alex is helping me with this and yeah <laughs> but basically before you're supposed to start using this app mm. you're supposed to watch the videos where we're yeah. seeing here today right the, so how you yeah. call them initiation it, videos exactly. right so it's, yeah. it's designed with gamification in mind so the initiation sessions unlocks all the content of the app yeah um, and as mentioned, this whole gamification is all throughout the app. So as you complete sessions, you gain points, which you then can get levels. And for each level, we, we plant a tree. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted you to get to this point because this is one of my favorite parts of the app. You're using this app for your own benefit, but the more you use it, you're helping Ebo plant trees you around the world. the planet, you are helping the insects and the animals getting new homes as you heal yourself and connect, you know, you release that trauma, that baggage you are carrying so you can be more free. So we as Earth, uh, human as collective uh, can be free and yeah, living in peace with all that is. I love it. I love it. Right? Enough with the rant, Alex. Again, we got to start working because we are serious guys over here. So I'll get you by. I'll get back to you guys in a second. So we've just finished uh, recording one of the videos and uh, I want to show to you guys what Ivo has already practiced with. This teleprompter is actually his and he's been using it before for a while now. It's an important thing to point out because at first the teleprompter can be scary, right? Because yeah. you're like, oh my God, I gotta follow. But can you just explain to them how you're using them? You have a little remote that, yeah. that, that you use uh, exactly. So I yes. can play and pause with this remote and it just reflects on this uh, little thing here which where the camera is behind and I can adjust the speed, make it slow, uh, fast or uh, whatever if I'm like changing pa pace yeah, exactly. um, and it really helps me to stick within a certain time frame because this also really helps me to make these recording sessions as short as possible because I can have the uh, opportunity to um, practice what I want to say and it also kind of gives me an idea how long the content will be because I tend to go really deep in the details sometimes when I talk and that just I end up with a 25 minute video. <laughs> yeah. And as I said we finished filming one video and well, Ibo did it 90 something percent in one take. We had one or two times where, where he stopped, he wanted to, uh, to say that phrase again. And he, you know, he just took the remote, he rewinded a little bit the, the screens and then he took it from there. I literally just put my headphones on and I shut up from the beginning. I didn't give him any sort of instructions. But yeah, every person you will end up with in front of the camera is is different so some people will be so scared about you know being and, and talking to a camera or using a prompter some of them will be a bit more relaxed like Ibo is what i didn't mention yet is that not only that Ibo is creating content for this app he's coding it he i mean he mentioned in the videos we recorded but i'm not sure we mentioned yet you're actually the main only coder behind this app and this is not a simple app. This is not a, you know, landing page, contact page and so yeah, on. It's no, a complex it's app. very complex, yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. He was it just is, explaining me how the know, app is customizable mm, to how the user... Like through chooses. machine learning and AI to create this user custom specific sessions. And it's one way to create all the UI and this kind of stuff. But I have also been creating the videos myself, editing, mastering the recordings and all the activations and so on. So it has been a lot of work, but all of this really has helped me to grow and explore, uh, explore new skills and learn new things. This is the initiation session the users have to complete with the videos and the activations. Um, 
And for the sessions, how they are really special is that they are interactive and progressive. So you can customize the sessions according to your own needs. And depending on what you choose, the system generates that session. So they're not pre-made. And this allows it to make it progressive. So the more you progress in the app, the less guidance the instructions will have and they will be more like cues. So for example with this which is a quantum manifestation breathwork you can select the intention for abundance, health or whatever you want to do yourself, uh, how many breaths you want to breathe uh, for each round and if you want to have some uh, extra cord cutting which is in a way to relieve, uh, release the old um, things that no longer serves you. So whenever, uh, whatever is chosen here, the session, which is right now locked until the initiation is complete, is generating this whole session uh, in the go by combining 30, 40, 50 different yeah, audios yeah. and creating it um, on, the, on the go according to the user preferences. So that's uh, something that's really special about this app. Uh, which I think is a very innovative in, in this field. Uh, I mentioned before I'm going to put all the, all the detailed information about the app and how to use it and when you can start using it uh, because as we record it, it's only in beta version. It's only beta accessible uh, as a beta version yeah. and it will be publicly available in a month but yeah. of course it will not have all the content as uh, they will take time to develop uh, especially the yoga part which I have something really incredible in mind which is just it's never been done before and uh, I'm really excited to create that part and that's just gonna come as updates after the app is out. Well, I'm super curious to find out so in a month whenever you're gonna be using the app you're basically gonna see the videos that we've been recording yeah, here today. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So stay tuned. I really hope you learned a thing or two about light and sound in your future videos. You know, for me, it was one of those projects where I just wanted to bring you guys along. But most importantly, to tell you about Ebo's app, because this is not your usual meditation app. You know, this is a complex project my friend has started. And if you want to find out more, you'll get more information in the description. He gave me a sign up link for early access because as we mentioned in the video, his app is in a beta version right now. Of course, maybe by the time you watch this, the app is already published. So I suggest you check the description for the link. But hey, thanks a lot if you made it so far into the video. I'm Alex and I'll see you next week. Ciao.